Para pa para pa to my young. Today, you and me, amigo, are gonna talk about the crazy rich, not Asian, but Chinese. Here we go. So my name is Magnus Detmar, I live and work here in China, more specifically Shanghai. This is the craziest city on earth I would say and I love it here. And recently you've probably seen a trailer about the movie that's called Crazy Rich Asia. Rich, we've been dating for over a year now and I think it's about time people met my beautiful girlfriend. What about us taking an adventure east? Like Queen? And about that movie, I haven't actually seen it yet, but I've seen a lot of trailers about it and oh my god, I really want to see it. But then I start to think like, where are those crazy rich Asians? Because they're everywhere now. They're flooding Europe, they're flooding the States, they're everywhere. Millions of Chinese tourists visited Paris last year, spending more than 1 billion euros, more than the Japanese, all the Americans. The Asians are taking over the world financially and luckily for me I'm in the financial capital, one of the biggest of them all. Shanghai is the financial center of China so there's a lot of wealth here so I was wondering to know like are there a lot of rich Chinese here and where are they? So before I start the list I want you to hit bing 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 because you will end up in heaven if you do that. Yeah, it's science. Guangzhou is one of the wealthiest cities in China. And Guangzhou is very close to a city called Shenzhen. If you know something about China, you probably have heard about Shenzhen. And why this is a very rich place is because it's close to Shenzhen. And Shenzhen is on the list as well. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. However, Guangzhou is a mecca for producing stuff. Producing electronics, exporting it through Hong Kong. Hong Kong is also a financial capital of Asia. Guangzhou is very good with shipping, they're very good with like producing cheap electronics and that's why that region had grown super duper fast. It's part of the Pearl River Delta and they don't actually speak yeah, Chinese down there, they speak Cantonese, which they do in Hong Kong and part of Shenzhen as well. So it's a little bit different down there, they, they don't speak the same language as we do here. Because we speak Shanghainese, Nangletsusa, Vechi Boulevard, Alasi Shanghaining, etc. So in Guangzhou, it's actually 4.8% of the wealthiest people in China are based there. So who lives down there? It's a guy called Xu Ya Yin. I probably didn't pronounce that name right. However, he's part of the Evergrande real estate group uh, and what they do is, yeah, they have real estate all over the place. He's also a very early investor in Alibaba. He became super duper rich. He's the second richest person in China. So that's why there's a lot of wealthy people there because wealth attracts wealth. Guangzhou is a rich place. Let's move on to the next one. Hangzhou, the Alibaba town, has 6.3% of the richest people in China. And a lot of people ask why is Hangzhou such a big deal? And Hangzhou has a very long history. They actually say in Chinese that paradise is above and then Hangzhou, then Suzhou. So that's why there's a lot of cultural historical things around Hangzhou. That's why it's super duper rich people there. I've traveled there several times and I've never seen so many expensive cars as I've seen in Hangzhou. So Alibaba started there and that has actually kickstarted the growth of that city. And of course there's a lot of other rich people there as well. So who lives there? Well, do I really need to say who's the wealthiest guy in Hangzhou? Think Alibaba. Yeah, you were right. Jack Ma. Jack Ma is the founder of Alibaba. He just stepped down because he's gonna be a philanthropist like yeah, Bill Gates and all those other rich guys. So I guess he stepped down, uh, but he's still one of the richest person in China and he is placed in Hangzhou. Shanghai, 8.5% of all the richest, wealthiest people in China is placed here in this beautiful, beautiful city. I actually thought it was more. I thought 
Shanghai was the top, top one, but Shanghai is the financial capital. Here is where they have the Shanghai Stock Exchange. Here is where they insert all the money that flows around in the country. When they insert that to the system, it goes through Shanghai. That's why it's a lot of wealth here, but also that it's more investment company. They don't produce very much here. They don't have manufacturing, etc. around here. It's more of the financial capital. That's why it's not on the top. I wish it was though. So who is the richest guy in this town? Well, of course, it's not very certain because there's a lot of money flowing around, but a guy named Colin Huang that's based here in Shanghai and he started an e-commerce platform that's called Pinduoduo. So he have done recently a IPO worth 1.2 billion dollars and yeah, he's a pretty rich guy. I haven't met him on the streets yet though. Off to the next one. Now we come to another favorite of mine, Shen Shen. 10.2% of all the wealthiest people in China actually lives in Shenzhen and Shenzhen is the manufacturing capital, the tech mecca of the world. Here all of the big companies produce their technology like Foxconn is producing like iPhone, Samsung, like all the products that you find in your home, electronical products, they're probably from Shenzhen and that's why there's a lot of wealth there. 40 years ago that city didn't even exist, it was a small little fishing town and now I think it's around 10 million people live there. There's new companies there that you never heard about that will take over the world in whatever they start because it's so much knowledge, they have the whole like they have Hong Kong just next door to just insert money into that market and then Shenzhen they build everything you can find regarding electronics. So who do you think is the richest person in Shenzhen? Well one rich person, Persian, 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 no not Persian, one rich person is called Pony Ma. He is working at a little company called Tencent that has over one billion active users on a small little app called WeChat. Yes, he is the founder of WeChat, so he is a big deal. Everybody knows about him here in China. He is a super duper good entrepreneur. I would love to sit down and pick his brain one day. Maybe I can do that with this YouTube channel. Who freaking knows? These guys are the limit. And now I know what you're thinking. So which one is the richest city in China and you probably guessed it. So in Beijing it's 15.5% of all the wealth, all the richest people on the Forbes rich list is in Beijing and there is so many startups there, there is so many investment funds, there is so many much money traveling around in that city in just exploding different type of companies. All the bike sharing companies come from there, there's a lot of startups and usually when people go to Beijing they think about like the Forbidden City or the Tiananmen Square or they maybe think about going to the Great Wall but in Beijing it's actually the most money in China and of course it's there because of the power. 53 companies of the Fortune 500 list is actually based in Beijing. So it's not only about walking on the wall, there is a lot of entrepreneurship happening there, a lot of money traveling there. So who is living there more than the government? So a guy called Wang Jianlin, he is the guy that actually started Wanda Group that's an investment company and real estate and I mean they do a lot of stuff and he's the fifth richest person in China and he has a very good saying that stay close to the government but far away from the politics and that is something. Hope you have enjoyed this video. My name is Magnus Detmar. Don't forget to hit the three and I will see you guys very very soon. Take care.